All you have to do is click the search button below and then type storage settings. And now you will see different categories of storage. So go ahead and click temporary files because you don't need these. And look. By removing these files, I will save over 100 gigabytes. This is crazy. So go ahead and do that. Click remove files and bam. And now you have even more space for your games. All right, step number two, and that is to optimize registry settings for gaming. So simply right click the start button and then select run. And then in the text field type reg edit and then click OK. OK, great. So now once this is open, go to this following path right here and I'll have that in the video description. So now all you have to do is copy and paste it there. And there you go. You are here. Oh, hold on a sec. Before you do any changes to the registry, it's always good to do a simple backup first by clicking file on top. And there you go. It gives you an option to export the settings. And of course, by doing this, you can then import those settings to revert the changes. All right, let's get back. And now from here, you are going to change the following registry keys to these values right here. Bam, there you go. All right, step number three, and that is to change the power settings to best performance. Simply click the button below and then type battery. And then from the results, select the option that has to do with battery options. Great. Now under where it says power, choose the best performance power option. And now you are all set. All right. Step number four is disabling startup apps because too many of these can slow down your PC. All you have to do is click the search button and then type startup apps. And then after that, select the appropriate option from the best match results. Great. So now you are going to see all of the apps that starts when your computer starts. So now take a close look and then disable the ones you don't need. Step number five, delete apps that you just don't need. All you have to do is uh, right click the start button and then select apps and features. All right, so now you are going to see a list of apps on your PC. Go ahead and select one and then click uninstall and you are good. All right, step number six is refining your display settings. So all you have to do here is right click an empty area on the desktop and then select display settings. Great. Now for the scaling, make sure it is set to 100%. Scaling basically means it's zooming in. So by having it at 100%, it's not zooming in at all. So whatever game you are playing will be shown at its full size, which is great. And for the display resolution, make sure it is set to the recommended settings. That is the native resolution. Great. And now lastly, if you go to advanced display properties, you will have the option to choose your refresh rate. So choose the one that is ideal for your monitor. Generally speaking, the higher the refresh rate, the smoother the gaming experience will be, but it uses more power, so choose wisely with this one. Step number seven is to get apps that allow you to use your CPU to its maximum potential. And two of these apps are Quick CPU and Control Park. And what's amazing about these apps is the fact that not only can you monitor your CPU's performance, but you can optimize it as well. And of course, you can find both of these apps from the video description. And as a bonus, I'm going to include some more apps like them as well. Now, of course, use such apps with care, especially if you intend to use your CPU at maximum performance all the time. And that's it. There you go. In less than four minutes, you learn seven different ways to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. For more videos like this that are simple and straight to the point, please subscribe and thanks for watching.